Home and House compared by Richard Anthony from https colon slash slash countedy.com. Now, let's look at the difference between a home and a house. You will find the word home in scripture, but it is not a noun, it is an adjective. 2 Samuel chapter 17 verse 23, dot and gat him home to his house, to his city. Notice this verse is describing something in general, home, and then gets more specific, which is in a house, which is in a city. A house and a city are not synonymous, a house can be in a city. Likewise, a home is not a house, it is something general that can be inside the house. Also, in scripture, the word house is always preceded by a pronoun, which is possessive, i.e. his house, my house, the house, thine house, father's house, brother's house, etc., whereas the word home is never preceded by these terms. The following are all the verses in the entire scripture containing both the words home and house in the same verse. Notice while the word home is used in a general sense, the word house is always used in a specific possessive sense. Genesis chapter 43 verse 16, dot the ruler of his house, bring these men home. Genesis chapter 43 verse 26, and when Joseph came home, they brought him the present which was in their hand into the house. Deuteronomy chapter 21 verse 12, then thou shalt bring her home to thine house. 1 Samuel chapter 18 verse 2, dot let him go no more home to his father's house. 2 Samuel chapter 13 verse 7, then David sent home to Tamar, saying, go now to thy brother Amnon's house. 2 Samuel chapter 17 verse 23, dot and gat him home to his house, to his city, 1 Chronicles chapter 13 verse 13, so David brought not the ark home, dot but carried it aside into the house. Haggai chapter 1 verse 9, dot and when ye brought it home, I did blow upon it. Why? saith the Lord of hosts. Because of mine house. Luke chapter 9 verse 61, dot but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home eat my house. All the above verses show that, home, and, house, are not synonymous parts of speech. The substitution of one for the other is incorrect. When you think about it, do you not say the same thing? We say, let's go home, but we don't say, let's go house. Sounds funny, doesn't it? Likewise, we say, it's in his car, or, it's in Thika, but we do not say, it's in car. Because a car and a house are something specific, physical, which belong to someone, whereas a home is something in general, spiritual, and does not belong to anyone specifically. This is why, home, is never preceded with a word which designates it as someone's personal property or possession. Therefore, home and house are not synonymous terms. The natural man has made home into a noun for his deceitful purposes. Man redefined the word home to designate it as a specific physical thing, a meaning which God never gave to it, so he may acquire jurisdiction over the home and its residence. It is imperative for the followers of Christ to learn and understand the words, such as home, that the natural men and human beings have incorporated into their created codes, rules, and regulations. The term home within the Internal Revenue Code, section 162, a 2, is defined as a taxpayer's principal place of business. L. Wayne v. U.S., C.A.N.D., 778 F2D. 506, 509. A person, dot may have his home in one town for the purpose of taxation, domicile for taxation and home are treated synonymously. Thayer v. City of Boston, 124 Mass. 147, 26 amp, rep. 650. The word home is not just a newly redefined word, it was redefined from as early as 541 AD. It is settled that there is to be considered the home of each one of us where he may have his habitation and account books, and where he has made an establishment of his business. Maxim of Law, the Code of Justinian, 50, 16, 203, 541 AD. Anyone who says, yes, I have a home, becomes known as a person with a home for taxable purposes, a resident with a permanent place of business, a corporate citizen, a consumer, etc. But the bondmen of Christ are actually, home, less, Matthew chapter 8 verses 20, 1 Corinthians 4 11. This is scriptural, because we are called to be sojourners, Leviticus chapter 25 verses 23, 1 Chronicles 29 to 15, Psalms 39 to 12. In Webster's New World Dictionary, 3rd College Edition, 1988, page 645, the term homeless means without a permanent place of residence. Today, the word homeless describes some bum laying in the gutter somewhere, that's not the homeless we're talking about. The world calls them homeless, but really what they mean is they're houseless, they have the terms mixed up, because they have a home, it's in the gutter or wherever they happen to be sojourning. 
So, we can see how the natural man takes something clean and twists it and makes it very unclean, and we have to be able to discern the difference when we hear these words. Bondmen of Christ are here temporarily, we are not here permanently, indefinitely, and without change. We are all here temporarily in God's earth. Therefore, we are transients, sojourners, or visitors, we are not residents.